So we're at the war graves of the people that died in the uh, in the Winter War and the Continuation War in uh, 1944. And it strikes me that these people might have had a rather different understanding of what it is to be a Finn than some of those we've talked to today. Uh, I think that's racist bollocks. They might not have accepted that a black person born in Finland or even a person of English parents born in Finland um, could be a Finn. They might have had a rather different, uh, more old-fashioned view. I believe I'm right in saying it was something like three or uh, two or three percent or something of the population of Finland died between just between February and May uh, 1918 just to stop Finland basically becoming a communist. The, the, the Reds in the South um, refused to accept the government of the Whites. Uh, there was a power vacuum because of the Russian Revolution, uh, and, so, and so they broke away. Uh, Helsinki and various industrial cities, including Oulu, uh, were red, and there was the battle for Oulu. It was very important because Oulu was the end of the train line. So if you, if you, if you didn't control the trains, then you were in serious trouble, and the Whites would be fighting on two fronts. Um, but they managed to, um, to, 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 to take Olu. The Reds took control of the graveyard here. They held out here. They held out at the military barracks where there were the Russian soldiers and their arms. They held out um, the railway station. They held out at uh, the city hall. And eventually, uh, Manaheim and his men sent in artillery and just bombed, bombed them. They held out at the cathedral as well. The cathedral was, was white, I think it was. Anyway, and, they, and, they kept, and eventually they took Olu. It was kind of a turning point, because had they not taken Olu, it would have been much more difficult to win, win the war, because of the, rail, the railway hub. It was, Olu was a railway hub. So these are people that fought in the Freedom War, they call it, or the Independence War. Uh, they didn't literally die in it, but they fought in it. And they're buried here, I guess, or memorialised here anyway. So the, the, old, the older ones are all in Swedish. And at that point... 1860s maybe would have been 25% Swedish speaking here and the whole upper class in this city was Swedish. These are the really old graves. So this is all Swedish, everything. It's like a whole culture that just died out. There was a whole culture, Swedish, Swedish all your body. I mean, this is one of the older graves. Look at this, 1742 to 1820. And they have the, I guess, to avoid grave robbers, I suppose. 1781 to 1850. Whole family here. Oh, this is, look at this. All very young. All children. Apart from the, I guess this is the father here, Johann Franzen. And then you've got all his children around. Seven years old. One year old. And they're just dead. This is it. This is what's left of, of the, no one here is a native speak isn't Swedish speaking Finn now, apart from people that have born somewhere else that have come here. <coughs> right now, I think it's up here. I was told by a Finnish friend. I don't know if it's true, but I was told by a Finnish friend that this denotes that the person buried here was executed. Okay, so this is the grave for Russians who died fighting Finland, in Finland, and whose bodies were not found, I suppose, or whatever. And so this is a monument to them. You read there, it says, Teloi Tetu Oulu, sir, executed in Oulu. And these were Oulu people who collaborated, who were communists, who collaborated with the communist invasion to try and ensure that Finland became part of the Soviet Union. And of course, if they got their way, if Essa Kempinen and Antti Juntinen and all these other people um, had got their way, then Finland would have been under the Soviet Union during the purges and uh, a lot of nasty stuff would have happened. I mean, already Finland, the Finlandization, Finland had to basically cowt out of the Soviet Union. It had a kind of semi-dictator under Kekkonen that bent to the Soviet Union. Um, but, but it would have been much worse. These people wanted to make Finland like Estonia, make Finland like Latvia, make Finland part of the Soviet Union. They fought to do this and they were executed for trying to do this. And you have the ones there executed in Nolu, and then further out is executed in, in Sormisalme, Sormisalme, executed in Kiminki. Yeah, 
but people still put flowers to these uh, these people. And I think that is what we were interviewing earlier with that woman. We were interviewing somebody who, had she been a... Well, no, because she's a social conformist, probably at the time, she'd have been highly nationalistic. But, but what she... Very, very nationalistic, more dogmatically and unreasonably nationalistic. That's what she'd have been, and she'd have signalled it with nationalistic earrings and nationalistic clothes. But, but this is what these people wanted. They wanted Finland to be part of the Soviet Union, and they, they executed them. Would you like to move beyond a boomer in spirit delivering content from his cellar? What about a boomer in spirit delivering content into a drone? Tally ho! How? By supporting the Jolly Heretic Experience and specifically our upcoming documentary on intelligence and the future of civilization. We will take a trip to the world of the future. Action, adventure and of course, based science. We will present all of the evidence that intelligence is behind the rise and fall of civilization. Along the way, we will trigger academics, befriend ghetto dwellers, and travel to strange and dangerous places. In fact, they might not come back alive. You may ask where all the money goes. There's a lot. There's travel expenses, there's transport, there's my crew. I can't do it all by myself. I mean, after all, I've been locked in a basement for the last four years. So prove your dissident status with money. Stop virtue signaling, put your money where your mouth is, and become a paid subscriber. It was never this cheap to save the world, or at least watch it burn in 4K. <laughs>